Etude 132 by Coomer, focusing on a rolling slurred arpeggiation that you would find in the Beethoven sonatas. It is marked con leggereza, so lightly at the tip. <laughs> for the Beethoven sonatas, you'll find this figure useful. Um, the, at the, with the pianissimo dynamic and at the point, we really don't have enough time to put our arp, arm up and down. So we use our flexible wrist. So you can practice just the opening. <laughs> And since it's at the very point, you can put a little bit of weight for clarity. So let's loop the first measure. A little slower. One, two, three. And you just loop it until it feels comfortable. Should be able to look away from the music, relax, and enjoy. So then, in contrast, we have mezzo forte and then forte. Definitely, by the time you're in the forte, you need to support. We can't support the bow with just the wrist. This is sort of broken. We can't put enough weight. So there, we want to start moving our up arm up and down. So let's do the first forte measure. Uh, there's no crescendo there, which is unusual, but at any rate, let's try it starting mezzo forte and then forte, slowly. Let's do that whole forte section with the whole arm up, going up and down. One, two, three. <laughs> did find is that there were two basic levels, the G string level, and then when I got to the A and D, that was sort of the same level for the arm, and then you just use the wrist for those two. Okay, and then at the very end, a little bit of a challenge to do that grace note. Um, I just did one, two, three. could re-articulate, uh, but I think end softly, don't get louder. Unless you wanted a bravura statement at the end, I guess you could do that too. Okay, so let's do the whole thing now at a nice, uh, easier tempo. One. <laughs>
Okay, enjoy. Till next time.